Dear friends, this is a very special moment. I'm more than 50 days alone at sea, almost 70% around the world, in the south of the Pacific Ocean, four days away from Cape Horn. And it's New Year's Eve. Special greetings from Sea Explorer, your Captain Monaco, to all of you. Special greeting from the ocean, the beauty of the wilderness, the beauty of our machine. Everything is 100%, everything is repaired. We can attack in the Atlantic Ocean. This is the race I really like to win, the Vendée Globe, what a fantastic adventure. I'm ambitious, I will try to be strong in the Atlantic, but I can't promise anything. Anyway, there's a race that's much more important, much bigger race we're all part of. It's a race about climate change, a race against time to find solutions for climate change. And that's something we are very concerned of with our, together with our partners. And in this special moment for New Year's Eve, I would like to, to, to send a special thanks to all our partners, Yacht Club de Monaco, EFG, CMA, Hapag Lloyd, MSC, and uh, of course, Kühne Nagel, the Sea Explorer platform is one solution to fight climate change, the climate crisis. And that's what we are interested in, solutions. That's a race against time that we all need to win to find solutions. And therefore, this is as much as a sport event an adventure, it's also a scientific voyage in conjunction with our partners, Geomar, Ifromer, Max Planck, UNESCO, the Imoka class, Deutsche Meeresstiftung and uh, Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation. Tomorrow, January 1st, the United Nations Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development will uh, kick off. And uh, there will be uh, another 10 years with a focus on ocean science for sustainable oceans. The importance of the oceans can't be highlighted enough. First of all, the beauty of the wilderness that we depend on without the oceans, there would be no life on Earth. But they are also the main player in climate change. They mitigate climate change. They absorb all the heat, almost 93%. A lot of our man-made CO2 ends up in the ocean and that changes biology, chemistry, temperature, that changes the oceans more than anything else and threatens, threatens life, threatens the health of oceans. And therefore we do this scientific effort on this voyage to measure the relevant oceanographic data with a fully automated lab that we have on board uh, since 2018. It, uh, it's something we are very proud of with our partners. It uh, delivers highly accurate data accepted by the international database, SOCAT, and January 15th. Um, the uh, unique data set of this voyage will be submitted, the part that we have acquired so far. Oh, it's the first time that there's a data set, a lab entirely around the globe of this accuracy of ocean CO2 uh, helping ocean, uh, helping climate science to better understand climate change and the role of oceans, the CO2 cycle. And um, I strongly believe that if there was no Vendée Globe race, just the scientific mission alone would make this voyage worthwhile, hugely worth worthwhile. And uh, therefore, I would like to thank all our partners. Um, in this moment, this has already been a success. We're submitting this data. 2020 was an exceptional year, thanks to all of you. Very proud of Team Alicia. You have cared so much about the boat, guys. It's working well. And we are ready to uh, attack 2021 to deliver performance in the Atlantic, hopefully. And uh, to keep inspiring you about the ocean 
wilderness and beauty and adventure and all you want. Have a very nice New Year's Eve, good celebrations and see you January 1st. Bye bye.